Hey everybody, welcome to the Hitch Channel. Today, we're going to talk about the five things that make people instantly dislike you. Generally speaking, you've only got a few seconds to make someone want to spend more time with you. And in those precious few seconds, everything matters, from your last name to the smell of your sweat. And Fred and Grouse, we know. Below, you'll find a list of very specific findings on the traits and behaviors that make people dislike you, both online and in person. Number one, sharing too many photos on Facebook. If you're the kind of the person who shares snapshots of your honeymoon, cousin's graduation, and dog dress in Halloween costume all in the same day, you might want to stop. A 2013 discussion paper from researchers at Birmingham Business School suggested that posting too many photos on Facebook could hurt your real-life relationships. This is because people, other than very close friends and relatives, don't seem to relate well to those who constantly share photos of themselves. Lead study author David Hurland said in the release, Specifically, friends don't like it when you've got too many photos of your family, and relatives don't like it when you've got too many photos of your friends. Ben Marder of the University of Edinburgh also worked on the study and warned, Be cautious when sharing and think how it will be perceived by others who may see it. Although sharing is a great way to better relationship, it can also damage them. Number two, disclosing something extremely personal early in a relationship. In general, people like each other more after they have traded confidences. Self-disclosure is one of the best ways to make friends as an adult. But psychologists say that disclosing something too intimidate say that your sister is having an extramarital affair while you are still getting to know someone can make you seem insecure and decrease your likability. The key is to get just the right amount of personal. A 2013 study led by Susan Spreckel at Illinois State University suggests that simply sharing details about your hobbies and your favorite childhood memories can make you seem warmer and more likable. Number 3. Asking someone questions without talking about yourself at all That same 2013 study found an important caveat to the idea that self-disclosure predicts closeness. It has to be mutual. People generally like you less if you don't reciprocate when they discuss something intimidating. In the study, unacquitted participants either engaged in a back-and-forth self-disclosure or took turns self-disclosing for 12 minutes each while the other listened. Results show that participants in a back-and-forth group like each other significantly more. As the authors write, although shy or socially anxious people may ask questions of the other to detract attention from themselves, our research shows that this is not a good strategy for relationship initiation. Both participants in an interaction need to disclose to generate mutual closeness and liking. Number 4. Hiding your emotions Research suggests that letting your real feeling come through is a better strategy for getting people to like you than bottling it all up. In one 2016 study, University of Oregon researchers videotaped people watching two movie scenes. The fake orgasm part of the movie, when Harry meets Sally, and the sad scene from Cham. In some cases, the movie watchers were instructed to react naturally. In another, they were instructed to suppress their emotions. College students then watch the full version of the videos. Researchers measure how much interest the students express in befriending the people in the videos, as well as the assessments of the personalities of the people in the clips. Results show that suppressors were just less likable, as well as less extroverted and agreeable than people who emoted naturally. The researchers were, people do not pursue close relationships indiscriminately. They probably look for people who are likely to reciprocate their investments. So when perceivers detect that someone is hiding their emotions, they may interpret that as a disinterest in the things that emotional expression facilitates, closeness, social support, and interpersonal coordination. Number 5. Acting too nice it makes logical sense that the nicer, the more altruistic you seem, the more people will like you. But some signs suggest otherwise. In a 2010 study, researchers at Washington State University and the Desert Research Institute had college students play a computer game with four other players, who were really manipulations by the researchers. Here's how one of the study authors explained the study procedure in Harvard Business Review. Each participant was placed in a five-person group, but did not see the other members. Each was given endowments that they could in their turn choose to keep or return, in whole or in part. There was some incentive to maximize one's holdings, but not an obvious one. The participant were told that 
At the end of the semester, a random drawing of their names would be held, and those few who were chosen would have their holdings converted to dining services coupon redeemable at campus eateries. Some of the fake participants would give out lots of points and only take a few vouchers. A rather altruistic behavior. As it turns out, most participants say they wouldn't want to work with their unselfish teammate again. In a similar follow-up experiment in the same day, some say the unselfish teammate made them look bad. Others suspect that they had ulterior motives. And that's the five things you should avoid and learn from this video. That's all for the sharing today. If you like this video, please consider to smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos just like this from this channel. And most importantly, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I would love to read and reply to your comment. And I hope to see you in the next video.